when we solve exponential equations with logarithms, turns out nobody really uses log. In fact, log, the only thing that log is really used for is the Richter scale and linearizing curves of powers of 10. That's it. We use natural log when we solve equations. So take a look. Here we have 9 to the n plus 10 plus 3 equals 81. We're going to get our base and exponent alone first. So we'll subtract the 3 off. So we have 9 to the n plus 10 is equal to 78. Now, the way that we solve for this exponent right here, we can do it one of two ways. We can use the fact that log base 9 of 78 is equal to n plus 10. However, plugging in log base 9 of 78 into your calculator, kind of a pain, and not all calculators are, allow you to do this. Most calculators have log, but the default base of log is 10. And so log base 9 of 78 doesn't really help us at all. Instead, we can use natural log because everyone's scientific or graphing calculator has that function in it. We can take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of 9 to the n plus 10 is equal to the natural log of 78. Now one of our properties of logs allows us to take our exponent and move it in front. We now have n plus 10 times the natural log of 9 is equal to the natural log of 78. We can now divide both sides by the natural log of 9 and we get n plus 10 is equal to the natural log of 78 over the natural log of 9. And finally we can subtract 10 and we get n is equal to the natural log of 78 over the natural log of 9 minus 10. And we can just leave it like this actually. That is what n is equal to. Let's try another one. 5 times 6 to the 3m is equal to 20. Well first we want to get our base and exponent on one side by itself. To do that we'll divide by 5. So we have 6 to the 3m is equal to 20. When we take the natural log of both sides, we get 3m times the natural log of 6 is equal to the natural log of 20. That means that 3m is equal to the natural log of 20 over the natural log of 6. And of course we can divide by 3 and so m is equal to the natural log of 20 over 3 times the natural log of 6. And we have solved for m. Finally, 10 times e to the 10 minus 3m minus 8 equals 23. Let's solve for m. First we'll add 8 to both sides. So we have 10 times e to the 10 minus 3m is equal to 31. Divide both sides by 10. So we have e to the 10 minus 3m is equal to 3.1. We can now raise both sides, or we can now take the natural log of both sides. So we have 10 minus 3m times the natural log of e is equal to the natural log of 3.1. Well, natural log of e is just 1 because the base is e, and it says e to what power is equal to e. The answer is 1. So this goes away. We can subtract 10 from both sides. We now have negative 3m is equal to the natural log of 3.1 minus 10. And finally we can divide everything by negative 3. And we have m is equal to negative 1 third times the natural log of 3.1 minus 10 thirds. And here we have solved for m. You can plug this into your calculator and it will give you the answer.